Hey guys, I'm going to react to Queen. Looks like it's halfway done. Who are these girls? Oh, I remember them. I think I watched them like a couple of times. I think from their prank videos, pranking their parents or something like that. There's Queen. I remember when Queen, um, I think she, um, perform for America's Idol or something like that and I don't know if she went through but when I was watching it it didn't look like she went through but she had a pretty good voice you know so I don't know what they're talking about I think they're gonna do a story time I think they're doing a tag. Was it a tag? With um, those two sisters. So I remember this one time, right? Queen was like, I think she was um, looking at her notes or was it her comments or something like that? And she was like, um, I think, I think she was talking to, I think she was commenting one of her comments section or something like that. And she was talking about, um, what she was talking about? Don't remember. I watched those two um, girls, um, I think they did a um, prank on their parents about, no, they did a prank on their dad with a snake. It was funny, you know. I watched it and then it was like, but ain't, if they're going to do a prank, ain't they supposed to not be afraid of whatever they're pranking their parents, you know? But that's just me, you know. I remember one time, like, when it was, like, back in the day, you know, I was watching Queen, and that's when she was with, um, Chris, you know, and, um, they was doing pranks and stuff like that. I, I don't think I watch them. I don't watch, I don't think I watch the old pranks anymore, besides that other one, when she threw the water on Chris, you know. I don't know if this is the latest, um, video they did, or if this is, like, a uh, old video they did. What I'm watching right now, but I remember this one time um, Queen did a prank on her, on Chris, you know, and it was like um, I don't remember if it was like waking up my husband with water. I don't remember. It was something with the water and throwing oil on the floor. I can't remember which one it was, you know. But that was funny, you know. I think that's the only prank. I think that one, and yeah, that's, I think that's the only prank I saw of them. I usually watch their like, um, I think um, vlog videos, you know. So I don't think those two sisters are doing any more like um, prank videos anymore. I don't think so. I think they're still doing the tour thing, you know. I don't know. I don't watch them anymore, so to speak, you know, but I do watch, I don't watch Queen anymore, because it was kind of boring, and now she went with, um, I don't remember the guy's name, I don't remember the guy's name, you know, Bef but before I stopped watching Queen, I watched her music video, I don't remember if it was, what was it called, I can't remember, <laughs> so yeah, I watched that video, what she made, you know. 
I always thought that she had good music, you know. Very good music, you know. But when I heard, like, I was watching this other um, YouTuber. They was talking about how um, Queen stole their beats from a different, um, from a different artist, you know. But with, was she made the beats with her music? It sounded much better than the oldies one, or the other person who made the beats with their song, you know? I think the original person who made that song, um, the beat, I think the original person who made the beat for that song, their song was kind of slow, like, kind of like a jazz, you know? So, I understand that she stole their, um, their beats, you know? But she twisted, you know? Because she put more lyrics to it, you know? So, I think her version is better, you know. I should be saying it because, like, um, born in the 90s, I should, like, like all the, um, the songs and the old movies. I never liked the, the um, black and white, um, movies. I remember when I, one time I was, like, in high school, right? I had, <clears throat> I had, like, a film class, right? And we always watched, like, old back in the day movies, you know? Like, black and white movies. And I never liked it at class, maybe because she always put on like black and day movies, you know, like black and white. I never like try to like, it never grasped my interest, you know, watching these old back in the day movies, you know. So I remember one time she was putting in that movie, right? It was an old 90s, no, I think it was 90, 86, you know. I don't remember if it was 96 or it was like, you know, the one. The old movies back in the day will have black and white pictures and stuff. And I remember this one time, there was like this one where I like, it looked like they was starting to like make movies, you know, back in the day, you know. So I didn't want to watch those movies, but that class was not very interesting because we had to watch old movies. And I was like, not really good at watching old, old, old movies, you know, especially black and white. It just... It don't give me any interest to watch those kind of movies, you know. So I never watched them, you know. But when she did put in the movies, so her class was a directing class. So it was a class where you watch old back in the day movies, and what is in that um like black and white, and you gotta like uh, make a summary of it, you know. You gotta write about what you watch, you know. Then um. The black and white movie, you know, what happened in that movie, why that happened in the movie and stuff like that, right? So I didn't really like that movie, you know, and I didn't really like that class because it was two old movies, you know. I like watching new movies. I don't know why, it just gets my interest, especially like action, comedy, um, I think drama, and all these other ones, right? So I like watching those. So, I usually skip her class, and I kind of regret me skipping that class because it was like an easy class to like get an easy A, you know. But I did do all her homework, you know. Even if I skipped her class, I was there most of the time, you know. Maybe I was just like paying attention, right? But I did do my my homework for that class. It was an easy class, you know. I just didn't want to do it, you know, because I thought. If I don't do my homework, but I did do my homework. I didn't do my homework. I didn't. So, how can I swear, you know? I did do my homework, but I just didn't turn it in. That's how I did it, right? So, I did my homework. I just didn't turn it in. And it was like, I think it was like a couple of days before they had to do like the midterms or something like that. Exams, you know? For each class, right? And you can only like exam I think three classes right so I exam like three classes I'm gonna exam per class because I was getting a feeling grade you know to me I thought it was always silly and stupid like why would you dumb yourself down you know if you watch my videos like you shouldn't dumb yourself down even if you're in school or not in school you know so I did that and you didn't turn out right you know so I had to take her midterm right exam right and she was like uh, if you remember any of the movies what we watched back in, um, black and white movies, make a summary about it and that will be your test, right? So the other kids did that, you know, and I was hanging out with these people who's kind of like low, you know, 
like met like not like there you know so I was like you know what I'm gonna do my I'm gonna do my work slash test right and I'm gonna do it right you know and it was time it was like the class was done right so we had to give her back the papers right and she was reading my my um my summary right of that movie I was I because I didn't watch all the movies but I watched one to like the ending maybe because it was kind of interesting not that much but it was kind of interesting you know I think it was about this lady and this guy was trying to get um I don't remember if it was like um I don't remember if it was like the the guy and the girl was trying to like move out of the parents house but then um the guy um the mom was like thinking that she's trying to take the son away I don't remember if it was that but I think it was something like that you know anywho uh, so I was writing about that, right? And I guess she read my thing there and she said it was very u interesting of a paragraph, you know, what I wrote, you know. It was like maybe like um, three pages long, you know. So the other kids wrote there, you know, in the group when I was hanging out with, when I was skipping, they couldn't even write a whole paragraph, right? So I turned in my work, right? And I already know it's going to be like at least a B plus or a C plus, you know. I didn't do too much of working to it, you know. And I had all my homework. It was for all the um, all the class. Um, I had all my homework for the whole class when I was in that class, right? And I was debating, like, should I give her all my papers? Maybe I will get that A, you know. But then I was like, nah. So I guess I didn't turn all my homework and from all the other previous days I was in her class right I just turned in the, like the I guess the what's it called the test what I was doing right so I was doing her homework don't get me wrong I did it really good you know I did at least three pages to four pages right the other kids who I was um, hanging out with and skipping they couldn't even do one paragraph right and I guess I was the smartest one there, you know, in that group, you know. So I was like dumbing myself down and skipping for what, like, just to get an F. And I could have got an A, you know, for that class. I think that's the only thing I regret, you know, when I was like in school, you know. That would be like the easiest class I ever took, especially PE. But I didn't really do anything with PE, you know. I didn't dress out or didn't do the sports or anything like that until like what I got, like, when I got to like, I think it was like 11th grade or something like that, I started participating, you know, and we was doing volleyball. I didn't know I liked volleyball, but apparently your girl is good, kind of, you know. As my sister say, I'm a beginner, you know, but I don't think I'm a beginner because the way I like hit the ball, how far I hit it, you know. So I do that, you know, and I guess I was getting the two points, you know, one to dress up and two is to participate you know I never participate to I think it was to participate in like sports or anything like that because apparently I didn't I didn't have a right to get home right but I guess I'm pretty good at all like different kind of sports like um baseball I think I never tried um soccer but I think I will be good at it you know and volleyball. I think I want to do tennis as well. So I think I'll do tennis and um, soccer in the future again. And ba um, baseball and tennis. And I think, um, what's it called? Volleyball, you know. I think I'll do it by myself. I used to, back in the day, I always thought that if you had like a team or another person to play, it would be easier, you know. But then I was like, why would it? When I was like in middle school, I was like, it was like a big wall and I always played um, soccer or volleyball by myself and come to find out I'm really good at it you know and I was like why would I need another person and I could do it by myself you know it's like a win-win situation right to me you know so that's how I did it you know and I guess this video while I'm watching is kind of boring you know that's why I'm rambling if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you didn't like how I um was reacting to this video uh right in the comments why you didn't like it and stuff like that but yeah this video is kind of boring so i don't know i guess every 
thing when I always watch her, like, when I do, like, the reaction, it's always like this, you know, it's kind of boring, me just watching them, you know, because sometimes they're not even talking about anything interesting to talk about, you know, so I think I'm going to end off this video, you know, like, and subscribe to the notifications on.